हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्वागत है आप सबका मेरे इस चैनल पर ओके नेक्स्ट मॉडल हियर इज प्रोडक्ट डेटा मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम और पीडीएम सिस्टम पीडीएम सिस्टम प्रोडक्ट डेटा मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस टॉपिक आर प्रोडक्ट एंड प्रोडक्ट डेटा दैट विल बी द फर्स्ट टॉपिक देन पीडीएम सिस्टम्स एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस देन व्हाट आर द वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ पीडीएम सिस्टम This is third part. Fourth part is reason for implementing a PDM system. Then financial justification of PDM system, and finally barriers to PDM implementation. So this is the content of this module. Seems to be a little bit small, but the content itself are of five years each. Like if I say about reason for implementing or financial justification, this itself is of three three lectures each, three to four lectures each. so let's see how it can be done so we'll start with first topic product and product data all of you are aware of plm product life cycle management and you know that in plm what is important the product is important now what does this word tells us about product data management so if you read this one by one so first word here is product okay, so plm is all about product if there is no product there is no plm there is no company nothing now what do you mean by product data so product data means all the data which is related to the product what sort of data that we'll see in the slides but product data means data related to the product it can be each and every minute detail which is related to the product and management you understand you have to manage the data related to the product that is managing managing the data means you have to keep the data in proper format you have to use some software so that you can keep the data in a proper format and management also includes that if the data is there in the system then it should be given to whoever needs it and um, in the quick time that is management so from the name it is very much clear what this module is about it is about managing the entire data of the product and in that we are going to see you know, why we need to implement this you now importance of pdm is one topic and a reason for implementing pdm is another topic okay, so starting with this product data defines and describes the product it is the source of the company's revenue the product then if there is something wrong with the product data then there will be a problem with the product and money will be lost consider a simple example of making a tea <laughs> and someone is making a tea with uh, reading the ingredients which are provided or maybe from youtube or somewhere just listening to it and preparing a tea the person has never prepared it and preparing for the first time and instead of putting sugar someone put salt what will happen the product will not be usable okay so that's what is said here that if uh, there is something wrong with the product data so if while telling someone tells to put salt instead of sugar similarly if you consider any manufacturing co component if someone says that actually is operation perform is to be drilling and someone perform boring operation so boring operation means enlarging the hole so that product may not fit to in the sub assembly or somewhere surface finish is of importance and that surface finish importance is not given and it is been told to just give the finish so finish and surface finish mechanical ppt students may be know it's different finish and surface finish are two different thing so uh, something like this uh, even even if you are talking about an electronic component if some of the ic is uh, replaced uh, by mistake it's uh, different uh, is uh, mentioned in the uh, in the manual or whatever it is or if we are writing some code if uh, something is missing what will happen it may lead to something different so product data is really important and understanding the data is also important product data is not important only from the manufacturing point of view it is important again throughout the life cycle of the product now how it is important throughout the life cycle now take example of franchise okay mcdonald uh, or this monjin is uh, uh, mcdonald's rather have franchise kfc also have franchise and they 
provide the information to each and every franchisee that okay you have to bake it for this much time you have to water water process you have to do the temperature is fixed the ingredients are fixed and everything is fixed now if this data is lost and they want to open a center at some different place and they don't have this data or data is misplaced or data is manipulated by someone what will happen the information that will go to that new franchisee will not be correct then it may it may bake a burger but then the burger of a regular test of mcdonald may not come in that burger because the ingredient is changed same is same is with the manufactured product products that are manufactured it is it is also important during the service also suppose a car is to be repaired or maintenance is to be done and uh, if one of the part is burnt and the person has to repair or replace that part then which was that part exactly which was that sensor for example which was that sensor then if that data of that sensor is missing then how the servicing will happen wrong sensor will be fitted or whoever is doing the servicing or maintenance will fit it as per his knowledge or as per his information so this data is important throughout the life of the product even while discarding the product it is important to keep the data it should be available with the uh, product so it has to be available and whenever it is needed wherever it is needed to whomsoever it is needed throughout the life cycle it has to be given uh, if i give an example of uh, aircraft and aircraft uh, it it may get uh, there can be a fault uh, detected in aircraft anywhere not only in india if the aircraft is manufactured in india and the fault may be somewhere in europe then in that case if the data is not properly given uh, quickly given and uh, to whom it is required it is not given then that repairing may take more time to get repaired that that part may get time to repair okay the aircraft will not get repaired quickly so that may happen so it should be uh, available in such a way that quickly it should be given quickly it should be given you must also have uh, noticed this uh, if you have uh, kept something in your mobile phone then and someone ask you to give that file or that photo or whatever then uh, if you have arranged it properly if it is arranged properly in your laptop in your desktop in your mobile you can quickly find it and give it to someone if it is not then it may take time so this activity of finding it quickly or taking time to find a common example is some so we have sometimes we keep our keys somewhere and we forget where it is kept and at times uh, we find it okay it, it may happen with any other product so most uh, many times it happens with spectacle also so i'm giving common examples so that uh, all, all this can be applicable to the manufacturing part also manufacturing section also so what it says it says that you get your data organized and you keep it properly now this organizing data is really a major challenge now you all will agree to my example whenever we purchase a new mobile or laptop what we do we initially make uh, some folders and uh, we decide that okay i will put this in this folder this in this folder and it will be properly arranged we try to maintain it for few days and after say after a period of say few months or maybe one year you see that the desktop is full the data abhi dala nahi mujhe time nahi mila karenge wahan pe dalenge and sometimes we often find some file where is it it's missing and we don't get the file that are the thing which happens because the data is not properly organized there has to be a system which will organize the data in a proper way no whatever the product is whatever the product is okay in in a in a company a huge or enormous amount of data and variety of product data is needed it is needed to develop to produce and to support the product throughout the lifetime the data can be anything someone may ask like uh, just to give an example now uh, we were preparing for nac and nba that time uh, we were asked data of 6 years back this student what he, what this student did before 6 year uh, like uh, someone has presented a paper or someone had some achievement then we were asked about the data data in the terms of photograph data in the terms of certificate data in the terms of report data in the terms of uh, attendance data in the terms of feedback anything can be asked okay so there is a large amount of data related with any product so i told you this 
these are the things which are related to one particular uh, event or one particular event of one student so like this uh, anything that uh, now you uh, that day i told you that even if it is a pen or even if it is a refill there are so many things uh, involved in it so, so the products are involved and uh, the sequence of manufacturing the bill of material lot many things are involved in it and data is related to each and everything it is related to traveling it is related to expenditure everything everything it can be a huge amount of data so product data includes uh, all the data related to all the product and uh, it uh, as i told you it uh, involves the data till we dispose it off sometimes if a product is disposed then also the data of that particular product may be needed in some cases uh, just take an example of a mobile phone a mobile phone is manufactured the design circuit design or something of that mobile phone is there now a new product is launched that is not used the earlier one product is not used a new product is launched after few days or so after few months someone will uh, think of launching a product again a product and there they want the data of the first product the earlier product then if it is not available that product is discarded but then the data is not available and uh, someone needs that data then how it how it is uh, possible to get that data it's not possible in this in that case what will happen either the people who were involved they will have to scratch their head or the one who are involved now they will have to frame a new data this uh, approach now uh, through all these examples that i have given to you you must have seen that the product data is a major asset and uh, it should be used as a profitability as possible you know nowadays data is also sold facebook and all other social media many times uh, we have heard that the data is leaked okay so it is possible that uh, to obtain the data so uh, uh, here i am not saying that the data should be used profitably matlab uh, ki you should sell and get the data but uh, you should try to get as much profit as possible from the data not uh, by the unethical way but with the ethical way which i mentioned earlier now this data as i told is a asset to the company and this uh, data will sometimes describe the characteristics of the product or uh, it can be uh, the packaging data it can be the labeling data it can be the data of the batch in which it was produced or it can be the material data anything sometimes the data will describe the structure such as bill of material or list of ingredients i started with this example only it can the data can have be of bill of material what are the various items that are added in uh, maybe uh, if you take example of some e tables then rasogulla how to make a rasogulla what are the various ad items added in it or how to make a, a spectacle what are the added items added in it or how to make a, a transparent glass or a colored glass to bill of material sometimes the data will describe the process related to the product how something something uh, has to be done it it can be a software it can be a software which is uh, telling uh, how it can be a, a course as a, a software this is it can be a coding how the software uh, is running or it can uh, be a, a process telling uh, how the material is moved from one place to another place in the factory and that was the the best part i told you about process planning in the earlier lecture so process plan can be a process plan which is telling what is the efficient way to carry out the activity so that it takes less time sometimes uh, it can be information that may be telling about the uh, regulations that the product may comply with sometimes it may describe the best practice uh, guidelines developed in an uh, industry or organization uh, it can be like iso it can be like asme standard ieee standard or other standards for a particular thing it it can be created and used through the product life cycle so product data is created and it is used throughout the life cycle and even after the product is discarded uh, for uh, its uh, throughout the life cycle uh, for its purpose and after the life cycle uh, for some new product see uh, sometimes it may happen that 
it can be used only for the maintenance purpose. Uh, throughout the product life cycle, the data is used only for maintenance purpose. Because whenever a part is made, that time if the data is not properly kept, then during service, if something comes, or for example, if you, if you consider that there is some issue while the product is uh, in service, then the issue can be rectified by looking at the data, what was uh, the process used or what was the issue with uh, uh, when it was in the design phase. Okay, maybe it was not properly done. That's why that issue is coming. Maybe excess heating of some part. Okay, that why it is happening. It there may be many reasons. For example, consider a reason that a cooling uh, system was not provided. So it, someone can go back to the data uh, and analyze it. That okay, a cooling system is needed here, and then they can uh, add it, and then again the entire thing can be uh, restructured. Uh, sometimes the data can be created uh, during uh, manufacturing. Sometimes the data is uh, created during uh, design engineering. Uh, design engineering means whenever the product is in the design phase. And sometimes the data is used at the end of the product life. So I have talked on this. For example, sometimes there can be installation data. How to install a particular product. You must have uh, gone through the manuals which we get uh, of some of the products, uh, the products that are delivered at home. How to install a, a particular thing, maybe how to install a TV or how to install a microwave. Or if you have purchased a, a table that is assembled, how to install it. So it can be that installation data also. There can be uh, manufacturing data which can be uh, obtained. Uh, uh, during the manufacturing, it can be uh, welding data, it can be surface finishing data, it can be assembling data, or it can be some analysis data. Okay, so different uh, uh, top different data can be avail is available. Now here, product data doesn't look after itself. So this data will not do anything. It, it doesn't look up after itself. It will not manage itself. It has to be kept in a proper way. Otherwise, over time, it will slide into a decay. It will, it will go away. It will not be uh, there with us. Just to give an example, again, uh, coming back to the mobile example, sometimes what happens if you don't store the numbers properly? Nowadays, it's not an issue, but earlier it was there. Uh, that if the mobile numbers uh, of people are not stored properly or not uh, taken the uh, backup, it is to get lost. It, it gets lost. So the product data doesn't looks after itself. It has to be taken care of. However, this has to be so has to be avoided at a, a slightest slip. So if if you get an indication, this has to be avoided. Otherwise, what will happen? There will be serious uh, consequences for this. So I told you in the earlier slide only getting the product data organized and keeping it organized for a longer period of time throughout the product life it is a major challenge in plm it's a major challenge in plm as we have understood in our life also we are facing that challenge here also it is a major challenge so earlier uh, what was the medium for storing the data paper now also if you go in no i will give you few examples if you go in uh, government uh, organizations now also you can see that the data is maintained in the form of paper I give you my example. Earlier, I used to prepare note. I used to keep it on the paper or a book. Now everything is in the computer. It's in the digital form. Okay, but till the uh, 20th century, okay, paper was the, the medium for storing the data. Transfer of data was also done through paper. Communication was also done through the paper. Now, if you uh, again uh, related to ourselves, it there was there were inland data, postcard data. There are invitation cards sent uh, physically. Then there were uh, birthday greetings and all uh, were sent through the card. Any message, any information were sent on the form of in the form of hard copy that is paper only. But now this paper uh, work is not there. Uh, it, it's mostly in the digital form. And uh, what what was the issue that time? That was issue was that paper with collection of data was given a variety of name. Suppose there are four to five organizations. Someone say that it is a record. Someone say that it is a form. Someone say it will be a report. It will be a procedure, a standard procedure, operating procedure. It is our policy. It is it are our, it is our standard. Then it is a list of rules. It is the set of rules. 
it is the guideline it is a document so all this you can see these different names are given for storing the data okay for same thing the different names we are given now in plm what happened in plm environment these names before before plm environment these names were not standardized so what is to happen a, a particular company used to call it as a policy and other company used to call it as procedure some a third company used to call it as report so this uh, everything uh, was again uh, to be reframed so that is uh, done in this product product data management okay. e even with plm even with plm earlier it was already there even with plm this was not standardized this particular uh, format was not standardized so that was done in the pdm this product data supports the uh, product across the life cycles of the life cycle of the product now in some cases for a product such as power plant or maybe aircraft it is a ship or a train something like that the overall product life may be more than 50 to 60 years and during this time there will be vast amount of data generated and this data will be generated first uh, when the concept is in the mind then when uh, it is designed and uh, later when it is manufactured and finally when it is to be supported for maintenance purpose so product data is supports the product across its life cycle now the support cycle is generally longer than the design and manufacturing cycle we all understand that the main because the uh, designing of product may take 2 years or 3 years design and manufacture but uh, the product would be in the market for 50 years 60 years or so on now the technical manuals will have to be produced and kept up to date if the technical manuals will be prepared then uh, the supporting activity can be done properly the spare parts that will have to be uh, ordered or manufactured now if as i told you that if a particular chip is uh, burnt or if a particular uh, sensor is uh, uh, burnt then how the person will identify which sensor was it or which chip or which ic was it then in that case the person will refer to what the manual or the spare part manual so to collect the data so uh, uh, as i have told you there are various phases in a product life cycle uh, where the data can be obtained as as we have seen in the plm also the data after manufacturing that is the product the product is in service that data is to be used for making a new product or making improvements in the product or modifying the product a lot of data is produced throughout the life cycle of the product now sometimes there will be different users who want to access this data it can be the owner of the company uh, the stakeholder sometimes uh, it can be like uh, the example of uh, maggi which happened it was uh, told that uh, there is excess content of lead okay, so it can be accessed by anyone at any point of time and uh, many different activities uh, can uh, will make uh, the use of the data now each will want each one will want the data to be available in the most suitable place and format so each one want the, want the data to be available in the most suitable format so different types of data will be produced and needed at different times and every time new data will be produced and the existing data will be reused and perhaps modified that has to happen over the period of time and over a long life the product may require product may be required or upgraded to such a extent that most of the original product have been replaced i give you earlier example of washing machine so earlier it was washing and manual washing machine now it is automation then came semi automatic now came automatic fully automatic washing machine a washing machine which will operate on uh, iot based just put the clothes in it and uh, don't tell anything it will identify which clothes it is and how much to wash and all that so that that is possible so oh, the product is completely upgraded uh, sometimes 
have uh, given you an example of aircraft then it products may be re required anywhere in the part of the world and that information has to be given quickly and it can be given it has to be given to any location it's not that it has to be given in the location in which the part was manufactured any location where, uh, in the world Sim similar example is of ship so if it is uh, the ship is sailing somewhere in the uh, pacific ocean then you need to give information uh, in that uh, place and that has to be given in a quick time there can be other examples also suppose you purchase a particular product and that product is faulty then uh, you uh, call to the customer care and tell the product is faulty then they will ask you sir which batch okay which batch number so from batch number they can identify okay this batch number then they will check in your in their database that this particular batch when it was manufactured when it was made uh, if it is edible uh, then uh, what was the procedure followed was it followed as per the norms or not what uh, so necessary analysis they will carry out for that what they will need they will need the data which was used to manufacture that particular product or I mean, it can be uh, it can be like uh, airbag maybe the airbag does not come out during the accident so what happened okay so they, all this thing can be found out if the data is properly available so many companies they keep the original drawing for the decades okay they don't discard it so earlier it uh, it was kept in the hard form uh, hard form maybe now they are keeping it in the soft form but they keep it for decades now i told you the example of lead found in maggi so customer increasingly want food to be traceable back to its farm of origin so from where a particular product has been manufactured what are the ingredients okay sometimes uh, it's chocolate then the cocoa from where the cocoa were imported and all those things uh, would be a point of interest for some of the customers if audit is made it will make it possible to see how the product was made so we know that audit trial is essential to look at the correct design errors so why this audit is carried out audit is carried out to check whether the uh, uh, proper norms are followed or not or if some error is left so that security uh, is there in the uh, product that is manufactured and it is it has to be maintained the security has to be maintained throughout the product life cycle so this audit is a continuous process even the boilers and uh, uh, we know that uh, we uh, the uh, we do the regular maintenance of our vehicle or we do the uh, maintenance of uh, all the equipment in the lab similarly the equipment in the company are maintained the pressure gauges are regularly checked then uh, the fire extinguishers uh, they are also checked uh, whether they are uh, after the uh, after their expiry date they are refilled uh, all, all this all this is done in the audit and uh, it is uh, another area that is called as maintenance so uh, maintenance is done regularly and then audit is done after a regular interval to ensure that the product is properly uh, running properly or made properly it is not enough to maintain a secure environment during the development phase only information must also be secured during the support phase just as some design engineers will not have to right to see some information or maintenance staff will also have a limited access right so it it may lead to inappropriate uh, service of the product okay if the uh, entire rights of uh, knowing how the data was manufactured in the design phase or how it was manufactured in the manufacturing phase if that right is not given to the person who is uh, accessing uh, it after the uh, product is manufactured it may lead to some uh, loss in the service so that's what it is saying a secure environment is needed for support phase also this is another issue that uh, if some of the data is with some individual so if uh, if a key individual uh, if a person leaves the organization then or if uh, the person dies or whatever whatever happens then the data will go with that person so it should be uh, properly kept with the organization now next topic is uh, product data management system now before product data management system uh, i will just 
give you a convincing argument about a product that happens between uh, the two two people in the organization and why this product data management system is not implemented properly so sometimes what will happen that uh, the uh, detail problem which are mentioned are uh, not understood understood by the business manager no who is the business manager he is at a higher level than the person who is giving the who is applying who is a technical manager so there are two person here one is a business manager and second is a technical manager who is a technical manager he is the person who wants the pdm product data management system to be implemented because he knows the importance of pdm and then there is another fellow this is business manager and he he only wants to get revenue out of the product so there is a conversation between them the technical manager will uh, will inform that pdm has to be implemented then what does this business manager will say he say that you you mean to say that uh, we should spend uh, uh, 10 lakh rupees on this system and uh, for what just to manage the data it means that are you not managing the data why do we need all this money to manage the data why should we spend 10 lakhs to manage the data why can't you do that just using the regular way of whatever you are doing and how how is it going to increase the uh, increase the profit of the company it is just adding as a cost to the company our cost will go up and our product will not go up this is what a business manager will say then the technical manager will try to in, make him convince that no sir it's not like that everything will be fast everything will be faster <coughs> if the product data management system is there and will not have to waste uh, much time in waiting for the uh, new product to come and uh, waiting for the problems to be solved then this business manager will say listen the only way i can move this business forward is by increasing the revenue and cutting the cost you tell me how can i remove some of the employees from the company so that it can be done in an efficient way and i will uh, have some cost cutting and he is saying that the business manager is saying that i will give you three good reasons why this pdm system is not going to help the first thing is you say that it shall get our product to the market quicker but when i look at uh, our engineering organization i can't see that changing the way uh, we manage the data is going to cut the development time so he is saying that by implementing pdm the development time is not going to happen faster uh, second by the time the product comes out of the market and uh, we make money uh, it it would have been launched by uh, many other uh, people and it will it will take uh, it, it will not get us the benefit and there will be lot of chaos in implementing the new system because the already already people are familiar with the old system and um, that that will lead to again necessary increase in time so these are the excuses this this that this business manager is giving uh, to the technical manager who wants to implement a pdm system and uh, he is saying that uh, this is not going to work further in the story he also says that by the time this gives benefit i will not be in the company i would have retired or i would have left this company and even you may not be there so why are we doing this for whom should we do this so these are the arguments uh, which keeps happening anywhere in the industry uh, in every organization uh, so that uh, the cost cutting should happen and effective implementation is not happening